our cultures are negating our existence. It does not recognize our sexualities or gender identities. And I think this is a uh, this is quite a difficult dynamic that we negotiate every day. Um, we as people do engage in our cultural practices every day, whether it's our local New Year's, whether it's a religious occasion, whether it's the way we look after our parents, or whether it's the way we create this interpersonal relationship with one another. This all constitute our cultural heritage. And I think this is where we, we really import, it is really important that we talk about our own stories. Um, so that we avoid representation, we avoid erasure of our cultural heritage as people. Um, one of the examples is that um, most of the time, like in Sri Lanka, um, the April New Year is, is the Sri Lankan New Year and people take it really serious and there's a lot of festivities that we do. It's a, it's a time of family reunions and I think for a lot of LGBT people in Sri Lanka it's also a very scary time because it's family reunions, you need to answer those questions. If you are in a relationship, where would you spend your new year with? Are you going to go back to your parents' house or are you going to spend your time with your partner? And it's, it's such a difficult thing to negotiate. And I think a lot of people need to hear these stories that, you know, we want to be part of our cultural heritage, we want to preserve it, take it forward, but you don't let us do it. Like, you don't include us, you exclude us. And if people can hear stories of this nature and say that, and see that, you know, you you blame us saying that we destroy the culture, but actually it's you who don't let us protect it and preserve it.